Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're starting a series in how to get into DaVinci Resolve. First thing you need to do is install it or update your existing version, which means you go to blackmagicdesign.com support, click on DaVinci Resolve Infusion here, and the latest version will always be available here in the latest downloads. Now, there are two versions of DaVinci Resolve, the free version here and the studio version. If you have a studio dongle or if you've got a studio key you can plug in, then you can download the studio version here for your relevant operating system. Otherwise, pull down the free one and give DaVinci Resolve a try. Now, DaVinci Resolve is a huge program. They're giving it away for free. When you download it, it's compressed. So here we are in my downloads. You can see my zip folder that got created. I can double click it to open and then drag this out and onto my desktop so that I can execute it. Now that we've extracted DaVinci Resolve onto our desktop, I'm able to double click it to run it. It'll ask you if you'd like to verify it as a package you want to install. And now you have the option of installing various components associated with DaVinci Resolve. If this is the first time you've run Resolve Studio, it'll ask you if you want to install the Postgres SQL database system, which underpins it. The other options you'll have are DaVinci Resolve panels. If you do not have a physical Blackmagic design panel, you can safely uncheck that. Additionally, it'll ask you about the Fairlight Audio Accelerator utility. If you do not have a Fairlight Audio panel, you can uncheck that. You do need DaVinci Resolve and the base version here. Further, you will need the DaVinci Resolve keyboards if you have the hardware keyboard. If not, you can safely uncheck that. And finally, with the Fairlight Studio utility, same story. So, most users will only need DaVinci Resolve 16 or whatever version we're on at that given time. That'll save you some disk space and make it faster to install. Next, you click Install. The default DaVinci Resolve install folder will help you as you follow tutorials, as people will expect you to have your LUTs and compositions stored in this exact location. Finally, you'll click Next and then Install. It'll install by copying and extracting all of the relevant application files. You will see a window pop up and execute some database rules may look confusing, but it is part of the install. Finally, you'll click Finish, and you now have DaVinci Resolve installed. If you've got the studio version, you will then be asked to put in your studio license key, unless you have a dongle installed, when you run it. If you have the free version, it will not say Studio right here when it launches. And that's it. That's how you install DaVinci Resolve 16. If you're just getting into Resolve, please click Subscribe, and you'll see a lot of tutorials here on the channel. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.